In my book, Stealing Elections, How Voter Fraud Threatens Our Democracy, I point out that the real problem we have is that we have an incompetent election system in many areas, many states. At the same time, we have fraud potential in some states, and sometimes they intersect. Sometimes what you really have to worry about is where the incompetence ends, it's so indistinct and unclear you can't tell where the fraud begins. And what we have is two problems in this country. We have election laws that are too vague, too loosely enforced, too loosey-goosey, that can be manipulated by people who want to put their finger on the scale of democracy. The second problem is there are some places where old-fashioned fraud still goes on. In some areas, it's in rural areas of Alabama or in Texas where there are vote brokers that go harvest ballots, uh, often absentee ballots. In Chicago, in Philadelphia, there are some big city machines that are notorious for voter fraud. Philadelphia, for example, has more registered voters on the rolls than adults over the age of 18. That's a sure sign that there's a problem. And then there's absentee ballot fraud, which I mentioned earlier. Absentee ballot fraud is the fraud of choice because the vote is cast outside of the supervision of election officials, which means anything can happen to it. You can steal a ballot out of the mailbox. Uh, the ballot can go missing in the mail. Uh, the ballot uh, can be used as a form of intimidation by a spouse, by an employer, by a union. Uh, their, their ballots can be sent to vacant lots, and mysteriously ballots from non-existent people can, go, can come back. So all kinds of things can go wrong, and I'm not saying that we have more fraud than we used to, but it's more sophisticated fraud, harder to detect, and that's why we have to be even more vigilant about it. Now, a lot of people poo-poo voter fraud, but over 50 percent of Americans told Rasmussen, the pollster, they are very concerned about ballot integrity and that their votes are not counted accurately, or that somebody else is voting who shouldn't be voting.